What's up everyone, Cat Goblin and Merchant here. Fighting games are some of the best games that you can play in your spare time, or with friends. One fighting game that I like to play on my DS is Digimon Battle Spirit. Yeah, I don't think a lot of people now would have heard of Digimon, but it was popular in the early 2000s. Now, Digimon Battle Spirit is based off the TV show Digimon Tamers, which I used to watch and I kind of forgot about this show up until 2020 when I remembered it. Today, I'll be taking a look at each of the enemies found in each stage, as well as the bosses. And to be honest, I had to look in a list of names for each of these digital monsters because I never really paid attention to their names in the show. And I'm also playing this on an emulator because I don't have the GBA extension from my GameCube. But without further ado, let's get into it. On the battlefield, the enemies act as obstacles or supply drops. Obviously, if you let them run over you, take damage and lose a sphere. But if you defeat them, you can get items that you can throw your opponents to do damage. You can defeat them with a single attack. Surprisingly, they take damage if you bump into them, and they will respawn after a few seconds. So right off the bat, the first enemy is Betamon, who's found in the fight against Terriermon. Betamon pretty much walks left and right. You can bump into it twice, and that's pretty much it. Gatsumon is found in the fight against Agumon. It drops down from the ceiling as a boulder and rolls. It then walks in the bottom floor, forms into a boulder near the center, and just falls through the floor. Gatsumon is so tough that you can bump into it three times before it dies and turns into an item. Mon, you encounter a new mon. From time to time, it pops out of the sand, sticking its tongue out of you. And that's pretty much it. You can bump into it, but it will retreat into the sand. <laughs> Next, we have Mushmon and Penmon. Mushmon is found in the fight with Geomon. It pretty much walks left and right, just like with Betamon, and you can bump into it twice. Penmon, on the other hand, lies in the icy stage along with Sukamon. It does walk across the stage, but it also slides around like a penguin. You can bump into it twice while it's walking and once if it's sliding. Penmon really reminds me of those cool penguin enemies found in Super Mario Bros. Wii. You know what? It's confirmed. Super Mario Bros. Wii will be the next review. The last two enemies are Bakemon, who's found with Wormon, and Demi Devimon, who's in the fight against Renamon. Both of these enemies act the same, as they fly around the stage. With the correct timing, you can land a hit in them, and they both look super spooky. <laughs> With the enemies out of the way, let's look at the bosses, starting off with everyone's favorite, Impmon. Now Impmon can randomly appear in the stages before you fight against Wormon, Sukumon, and Giamon, and he makes his grand appearance by setting your opponent's tail on fire. For attacks, he is about a boom where he'll throw fireballs at you right from his fingertips, and that can take away two spheres. Luckily, he can't spam that attack like Mario. He can throw this huge orb at you which can take away three spheres, and his taunt which is blowing himself up can actually damage you. His main ability is having Sphere tracked. 
If you do damage to him or if he does damage to you, all the orbs in the ground will go straight to him. So basically it's like Itmon has Stud Magnet on. Just like in the first few episodes of the show, Itmon can't digivolve, so if he reaches Kalamon, then nothing happens, and Kalamon just flies away. But defeating him isn't really difficult, as long as you dodge his attacks and get more spheres than him. Second and final boss in the game is Millenniumon. Before the fight, Millenniumon instantly kills you. Fortunately, Kalamon comes to the rescue and revives you, giving you 8 health spheres. Then the fight begins. Millenniumon flies around the stage and you attack its head. For attacks, it can fire a large beam downwards that can destroy the platforms, as well as shock you, taking away 2 health spheres. And he also has sphere track like Impmon. Occasionally, Millenniumon will fire a huge orb at you. If you get hit, you'll be moving super slow, then Millenniumon will fly over to the background and launch rockets at you. From time to time, it does this too. Millenniumon isn't really a difficult boss, it doesn't have a whole lot of health, and it changes color when it takes damage. But overall, the fight is a piece of cake, especially if you're using someone like Vigimon. Oh, and if you run out of time, you still lose anyways. <laughs> So everyone, that is going to be it for this really short review. Digimon Battle Spirit is a pretty solid fighting game, and Itmon is my favorite character overall. But anyways, please like and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next review.